What's up guys? Um, I'm feeling motivated today. Got a new soldering iron. Um, I'm motivated. I'm gonna get this thing on the road this weekend, I think. I ordered my bulkhead fitting that I need for the return fuel line to the gas tank. Amazon said it'd be here yesterday. Now it says today, so I'm just gonna do everything else, save that for last. I have to do that. Like I said, last time brake line, solder these. So I got a new soldering iron so I can do that. I need to get this transfer case in. I'm gonna tackle this first. I don't have the clock ring that I need. I still couldn't find the right one. I ordered one, it's not here yet, but I don't know if it's right. So we're just gonna mud truck, transfer case it. Uh, it's gonna be straight vertical, just because that's the next clocking position, but at least I can drive the truck then and see what's up with that. Um, I'm gonna drive the truck to my work. There's a lift I can put it on so that I can try and figure out this exhaust. Uh, there's a welder there. So I could take these manifolds off with the truck up in the air, kind of get a, you know, a better view from but down below where the exhaust needs to go. And it'll just be a lot easier than here. Uh, pulling it off, putting the manifold back on, trying to cut it and get it to where I need to go. And then running the rest of the exhaust. So really four things I gotta do today to get it done the hardest part is once i get transfer case in heater i'll be back anyways like i was saying about four things i need to get done today for that to happen um, the hardest part is once i get this transfer case in i have to make the uh, cross member for it for it to sit on it's gonna be the hardest part i got some steel I'm just gonna have to figure it out. I don't I don't know. I think things might change when I have the clock ring, just because things might move over and whatnot. So I don't wanna go super, you know, overboard with it and build something really strong and use a lot of metal and spend a lot of time on it if I'm gonna have to change it. I'd rather just make it work for now. And then if it does end up that's where it needs to be, then I'll just strengthen it later. Um, and do whatever I need to do there. So I think first things first, I'm gonna get the transfer case in, like I said, uh, before I can even attempt to do that though, this little nub here needs to be cut off because it won't let it line up with that there. So I'm gonna do that and then start lifting the transfer case in. What's up guys? Um, so yeah, none of that happened that I just put in there. That was about a week ago. Uh, I mean, I guess it did happen. I got everything done on the truck that I said I was going to at the beginning of that video. And yes, I was very motivated to do it. Got it all done that night. Um, but there's a problem. It doesn't drive. The clutch will not press far enough. Depress, unpress, however it works. I don't know what the right technical word is, but I can't get the clutch in engaged far enough for disengage to actually get the truck in gear. When I try and put the truck in gear, it just grinds. So either I have a bad slave cylinder or because that trans is a lot bigger, I mean, the slave would be bigger, clutch is bigger than the stock Ranger trans. The master cylinder is too small. So a lot of people use 92, 93 or 92 to 94. Ford Ranger 4.0 uh, master cylinders because the the diameter of the actual cylinder is bigger so it's pushing more fluid or an F550 I don't know what years though to achieve more fluid uh, going through to actually disengage the clutch so that's where I'm at with the truck um, I haven't been working on it today as you saw we have tons of snow it is negative 30 right now with the wind chill I really did not want to be in the garage because I don't want to feel like heating up negative 30 degree air, uh, but I did just because um, with work, so I'm not working my normal job, I'm still working the other job, um, driving truck, but it's getting slow, so I've been in the shop more, so I need to bring one of my toolboxes to work, so I have my own tools there. So today I'm going to bring 
pack this guy up. Well, I gotta unpack it to get it in my truck, but bring enough tools to use at work. I also got rid of the red box, if you notice, and I got a new one. Uh, the black on black looks way better. That one's gotta go next. That one's just a Harbor Freight cart though, so. Uh, I'm gonna get a hutch and everything for this eventually, but anyways. Um, I need to get tools ready for that one. So I guess I'm gonna bring you guys along for that. I'm trying to do this quick so I'm not heating up this garage for very long. Um, yeah, I'll bring you guys to work and everything when I unpack it and try and organize my tools. I also got a four-wheeler to pull the driveway with. And so I can take it ice fishing. I'm going to try doing some ice fishing vlogs too again. Uh, but I was going to go ice fishing this weekend. It's just, it's too cold. It's miserable ice fishing in negative 30 weather. And here goes the heater. I'll be back. Uh, so I have monster truck transfer cased. Monster truck to the transfer case, like I said I was gonna do. Uh, the rear drive shaft fits perfectly. That is just a cardboard tube that I just threw on there to see what the drive shaft would look like at that angle. Uh, but my clock ring did come in. Obviously it came in after I already did that, so yeah, I gotta swap those. I still don't know if it actually fits or not. I'm gonna wait till I get it driving though, and I'm just gonna drive it like that till I get it to work. Or I can put it on the lift and it'll make it a lot easier to pull the transfer case off and put that on and mess with all that. Um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna swap some tools. I probably won't go very lengthy on the whole tool swap. I never really organized this box either after I got it. Um, I just want to leave enough tools here to work on my truck, but I need some at work. Uh, this box is filled with a lot of snap-on tools. I think I'm going to bring more of my older tools, like my Craftsman stuff, to work. Just because it gets beat up a lot more at work than it does here. And yeah, snap-on tools are expensive. So I'm going to try and keep them nice and bring my crappier older tools to work um, yeah anyways all right i think i got most of what i need packed up to take to work i got uh enough tools here still to work on stuff if i need to um like i said i just gotta plan ahead if i plan on working on the ranger to bring some tools home which kind of sucks but this job's kind of just temporary for the winter anyways, so not a big deal. I don't work on the Ranger much in the winter. Anyways, I need to order some parts, like the master cylinder I was talking about, before I can move forward on that. And with it being this cold and snowy and all that, uh, this is kind of on hold. Trying to leave for work this morning. Truck doesn't want to start. camera back around now. Alright, All right, Matt bought an exhaust for his truck. A Borla. So I'll do a before and after on it. Alright, 
All right, I got my toolbox all set up here at work. Tools put away in it. Uh, not much here at work, but obviously I'm not the only mechanic here, so. Uh, I'm not sure how much more I'm gonna bring you guys along for this video at work. So if this is it, then I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, I might throw a few more clips in here throughout the day, but that'll probably be it for this. Well, update. Two hundred and ten dollars later, got a new battery for the F one hundred and fifty. Uh, got it to work, pulled it in, tested it. It's only got nine volts, so ran to Ford, got a new battery. It's all good now. It's almost lunchtime. I think that'll be it for the video.